Hello, my name is Urmil Bansali and on behalf of team number 12 of the Capstone Design 2020, I'd like to welcome you to this online presentation. I'd like to say that I hope everybody watching this presentation is safe and is using this time that we have at home to do stuff that people never got to do, like bonding with your family or other things that you might have wanted to catch up on. That being said, I'd like to start with a question. Have you ever been in a situation where you have something important coming up, like an interview or maybe like a date, and you want to look your sharp, sharpest and you want to look good, and for that you want you go and get a haircut. But when you go to the barber, you expect to look like this guy. And what ends up happening is that you actually end up looking like this guy. <laughs> uh, I can definitely testify to this, and I can say that this has happened to me multiple times. And uh, it can the, the idea that we were coming up with centered around situations like this, or maybe a situation where maybe you're a senior citizen and you can't leave the house for a haircut, or maybe you're hurt, maybe you, you fractured your leg, got into an accident, and you're confined to your house for a while, which prevents you again from going out. Uh, or maybe you want a simple haircut, or it's a time like this where we're all at home under quarantine and everybody's hair's, hair is growing, going crazy. And that's how the idea was born. So the idea was an auto-adjusting hair clipper that would sense its position relative to the head and it would auto-adjust its guard length to cut different lengths of hair. So what we intended to do was make a device that somebody could use to cut their own hair that would actually sense where it is and it would, on a predetermined basis, give, give you a, a nice haircut. The technology that we wanted to create can be broken down into two parts. One would be the tracking and one would be the device itself. These are the different parts of the project. We had cameras that would be looking at the person's head and at the trimmer as the hair was being cut. We had these cameras connected to a Raspberry Pi where we would process the video in real time. And this Raspberry Pi would send instructions to the motor that would be connected on the clipper that would auto adjust the length according to the haircut that you wanted. Talking about the tracking, uh, we used cameras to track the person like I said. We used OpenCV on a Raspberry Pi to track the back of the head and to track the clipper. And we used somewhat similar technology to what would be a green screen technology used in movies um, to detect the clipper position in relative to the head in real time. Uh, this is what the tracking looked like. We can see that the head is detected and in this picture, the green spot represents the edge of the clipper, the part of the clipper that is cutting the hair. And we can see that it's, it has been detected and it is near the nape of the head by a probability of like 0.82. The construction of the device. So we basically used a, an existing model for a trimmer as the base and we took it all apart and we we saw how could we you know play with it and how to change the mechanism so that we could adjust the hair like adjust the length of the hair like we wanted in this slide we see two photos where the the length of the hair could be adjusted low in on the left side or high like on the right side so in this project, we accomplished various things. We accomplished the entire tracking process. We could look at the trimmer and say, okay, where it is uh, in relation to the head, is it on, on the top, near the bottom, on the sides? We could, we could do all of that. Based on that, we could uh, change the, how much the motor should rotate, which would uh, essentially adjust the, the guard length and we dismantled the entire device and we conceptualized how the whole thing would work but unfortunately because the equipment was split up among different uh, team members we couldn't uh, have the idea come together the way we wanted it to we did not have the gears either to, uh, to form the mechanism that would uh, essentially rotate um, the, the guard length up and down and Therefore, this project has remained much more conceptual than we wanted it to, but we're happy to say that we hit all the different main aspects that we wanted We wanted to. Um, we thank you for being part of this presentation and stay safe and stay beautiful.